The following segment is sponsored by the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz just released a mini feature documentary that pays homage to the icon who set a standard in women's basketball and continues to inspire. Nio Campbell is here to tell us all about it. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Carrie. It's so great to be here, and I love that we're able to talk about this documentary. I know. I am so excited to chat with you about it. Okay, who is this documentary about? Okay, so the documentary is about Lucia Harris, um, affectionately known as the Queen of Basketball, affectionately mm. known as Queen Lucy. Yes. Um, and she is the first and only woman to ever be officially drafted by an NBA team. And that team happened to be the New Orleans Jazz. So this was before it was the Utah Jazz That's back right. in 1977. She was selected in the seventh round. Um, and yeah, she's the first and only woman to be drafted by an NBA team. So it's so exciting to tell. Oh, I just, I love her. That is so cool. Who all did you interview and speak with to develop this feature story? So uh, for this story, Lucy unfortunately passed in 2022. So she's no longer here with us. Um, but she actually was a part of an Oscar winning documentary called The Queen of Basketball. Mm -hmm. It's produced by Shaq and Steph Curry. Um, and so this was a story where she actually got to tell her own story about who she is, her legacy and all of that. Um, but for this story, I call it like kind of a love letter to continue a continuation of okay. that documentary because we have her two daughters in it. Oh. They're twins, Crystal and Christina. And then we have Ann Myers Drysdale, who was her Olympic teammate back in 1976. Wow. She's also a Hall of Famer as well. Um, and she's a legend in herself. Like she um, actually uh, went to training camp with the Indiana Pacers. So she has her own history as well. And she works for Phoenix Suns. So phenomenal. Yeah. Okay, why was it so important for you to include perspective from her children? Um, I think for me, I, I really wanted to be able to tell uh, just what she was like as a mother. Yeah. Um, we knew, we found out who she was as a basketball player, and I think that was so incredibly important. But at the end of the day, Lucia actually said no to the NBA. Wow. So when the NBA drafted her, she was just like, no. <laughs> she was like, I don't know if this really makes sense, if this is aligns with what I want to do. Um, and she chose motherhood over actually going off and um, being a part of the NBA or whatever that experience would have been. And I wanted to know more about that. I wanted to know why she said no. Mm -hmm. uh, she was an educator. She was a coach for her daughters. And so there's nothing like being able to tell that story about your mother. And it was also really cool is that her daughters didn't know too much about their mother's legacy because their mom kept it a secret. So they would have like, they, she won a silver medal in the Olympics, the first ever time women's basketball was in the Olympics, and she won a silver medal. She also scored the first basket, and her daughters just like happened to go through like a scrapbook. They're like, oh find, my gosh! They're like, oh mom, like, this is your silver medal. But get this, she took the medal to school because she didn't realize how big of a deal it was. So she's in there, mom's like, okay, like hold on, like I have to tell you <laughs> that I, I was actually pretty good. And so we we see that in this piece where they're like, mom, were you good? And she was like, I was okay. What, you know what? What a phenomenal pioneer in everything that she's doing and choosing to be a mom. We have to respect that. For sure. um, where can we go to watch this mini documentary? So it is on utahjazz.com. So you can go via the utahjazz.com um, as well as YouTube. Just simply just type in Utah Jazz on YouTube. You can type in Lucia Harris as well as Jazz Plus. So if you are a subscriber to Jazz Plus, which we recommend, yes, um, go on Jazz Plus and you can watch the interview there. Oh, thank you so much for sharing this incredible story. What a phenomenal woman. And Nayo, you're amazing too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Carrie.